everybody, back with another out of the box review. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I saw this on Facebook somewhere. Uh, resin kit of sloth. I have not bought a model kit in a very long time now. It's the first one I've bought in a while. Just nothing has piqued my interest, and this one I saw it as I like, gotta have it, especially for the price. It was forty nine. Uh, 99 shipped and it's from Michael Milano from cgmodeling.com uh, he does some really beautiful work as you're about to see uh, yeah <laughs> I really really wanted to support someone doing something uh, more original when it comes to garage kits but uh, I'm kind of sick of what's been coming out lately which is why I've kind of gone back more to miniatures uh, I haven't really seen anything I really like uh, I'm not a big superhero guy I'm not a huge Universal Monsters guy, so I don't see a lot of stuff lately that is up my alley. And this was. Uh, this is from my childhood, so for you know, the garage kid hobby is getting older. And a lot of those guys are into stuff they were as a kid. Sloth is from when I was a kid. And what you get, and it comes from, it ships from China. I'm not exactly sure where they're located uh, as far as Mike and uh, CG modeling. Uh, but ships from China. It comes in, it's six or seven main parts. Uh, and then there's a bunch of little tidbits in here, but it's one eighth scale, I think, or maybe more of a non-scale thing, which I really appreciate these days because I'm out of space and I really don't want to buy any more Ikea cabinets and I really am looking forward to shrinking things down a bit maybe. Um, but all those quarter scale guys that are like, Ooh, quarter scale, quarter scale, quarter scale. I don't get it. I just, I can't, I don't have room for that anymore. Having been doing this for so long, I, I, I'm out of space. And it just doesn't make sense to me to kind of take up that kind of real estate when you can do the same thing with something smaller. But back to the kit. Uh, what you get is one <laughs> really cool uh, sloth kit. Uh, if you don't know who sloth is, he's the, one of the uh, Fratelli brothers. And he was locked in there and got out in the movie and helped out the kids. But as far as casting goes, this is beautiful. There's like There is nothing wrong with this anywhere on this kit uh they did it looks like go and scrape some of the mold line off it looks like there was some on the shoe and stuff but this is just simply immaculate which like i said I haven't been around a long time this is not how it used to be uh, i actually like building and scraping and sanding and making sure things fit together so this kind of wipes out that part of the the process but sometimes it's <laughs> it's a it's a good thing and in this case it is a very good thing this is a basically uh glue and paint kit it is ready to go. There's nothing to do in terms of cleanup, which is just great. Uh, but you have the Superman logo. Let me show you real quick what it looks like. This is the CD, CG render from his site. Um, that's what it looks like done, which is pretty cool. And that's what really sold me. When I saw that, I was like, wow, <laughs> I need to have that. But as far as kit goes, like I said, that's the render. It's not an actual kit that's painted. Um, this is just awesome. And I, this is what is just, look at Sloth's face. This fits together beautifully. Um, but that is, I mean, it's better than what's, what's in the movie. Because if you know the movie, it looks kind of goofy. Um, there's a little plug there for that rest of the bandana, uh, or do-rag, if you will. Uh, the teeth, I don't know if I can get in there. Look at that. How cool is that? There's a little bit. No, it's just a shadow. Um, look at that. Get him. Get his gums. His toothless grin. Screaming, hey, you guys. This is just... I've been waiting for something like this in a while. For a while. But I wanted you to see... I'll take the hat off because I don't need to. But there is no putty needed whatsoever. That is just... That's done. Ready to go. And check that out. That is, it's beautiful. It really is. So what you get, legs, torso, head, hat, two arms. This is always the mark of a good sculptor, as someone who can sculpt hands. And these hands, they look like something out of a Michelangelo painting. Uh, muscle, muscular, knuckles. Um, it is really well done. Uh, I mean... It ended up looking better than what's in the movie. This is the one I Willie had a skull, which is a nice touch. If you've seen the movie, you know what we're talking about. Uh, these are cool arms. And again, they, the engineering here is 
flawless. That just sticks on there and you're ready to go. Uh, the, some of the extra bits that come with it, uh, the you got the headband and you got so I mean the the ties to the bandana and you get a bunch of little gold coins that with some with a wash and with some other stuff it's gonna they're gonna look pretty good. Uh, you get a skeleton arm which you could use for this or any other one eighth scale. Throw it in your bits box. A couple other skulls that go in there and then uh, jawbone. And another skull face. And they said the tie for the back of the hat, which just kind of sits on there perfectly. This is just a joy to look at. And I'm really, really happy that someone took a chance and made something that isn't as popular, maybe, or isn't a solid guarantee that things are going to go well. And they did something they wanted to do and something they like. Um, do more of this, everyone. This is really cool. I hope more people check it out. I'll leave a link. Uh, you can hop on over to their website and uh, get one for yourself. But thanks, Mike. This is a really cool kit. Um, I, I hope you do well with it because we need more of this stuff. Take care. I'll talk to you later.